We gotta talk about the whole entire situation happening in New York City right now because so many stores, guys, I'm not even joking when I tell you guys, a bunch of stores are now just suddenly collapsing and closing down. And it's frankly very sad. We're seeing multiple chain stores closing and drug stores now closing. What's going on? Why is New York City doing this? Is it because New York City has high crime? Yes. High shoplifting? Yes. There's no repercussions? Absolutely yes. You shoplift on under $1,000. It's literally just a desk appearance and a slap on your wrist. How is that any sort of a deterrent? That's what everyone's saying. So where is New York City headed? Towards destruction right now. Check this out. Court documents show at least 12 Rite Aid stores in New York State that are closing in 2023 and more than two dozen locations that have shut down mostly in New York City in 2023. This is a huge deal because what do Rite Aid stores do? They typically sell a lot of goods and they also have a pharmacy. That's really about it. And if you look at the shoplifting instances in New York City, a lot of it's really petty crime. In fact, thieves are so emboldened right now, they just go to a Rite Aid, go to a CVS, they take some candy bars, take a bottle of wine, they leave. The cops can't do anything, the cops won't do anything for such a small crime, and they'll just keep doing it, keep doing it, and keep doing it until the business goes broke. Upper East Side CVS is set to close in May. The CVS at Lexington Avenue and East 64th Street will close its doors for good. And CVS, this isn't the first CVS that has closed down in New York City. There's numerous CVSs closing. And you may also notice the location, Upper East Side, which is the neighborhood of old money. Even high-end neighborhoods in New York City are being shoplifted and looted hard. In fact, if you look at some of the grocers in the Upper East Side, they say the same thing and they don't really understand what's going on. Look at this, a beloved Upper West Side family grocer is closing after 46 years. Upper West Side is another place that's you know right next to Central Park with a bunch of luxury pre-war condo buildings that cost millions of dollars. Another extremely high-end neighborhood in New York City. So why are they closing down. They basically say that business sucks. A lot of people have left is one of the reasons why. And it's not just their grocery store that's suffering. In fact, business is terrible. It's worse than during the pandemic. He doesn't know if it's just me or the other markets too, but more than 40 years our store has been here, he's never seen the business this bad. This is a combination of almost 600,000 people leaving New York City in the past two to three years, nearly 10% of the total population. And of course, I'm sure they also deal with their own fair share of shoplifting, which is destroying many stores. But even grocers that have less shoplifting than others all say that New York City is no longer the place to be. It's no longer what it used to be. I mean, this is a very old store. They went through like the 08 crisis, the dot-com bubble, you know, the stock market crisis in the 90s. I mean, these guys have seen it all and they close now. Why is that? Population decline, massive money on the market crisis. New York doesn't even know how to save its own businesses right now. And look at this, Walgreens is closing down. You know, they're shutting 90 stores in New York State and dozens of stores in Midtown Manhattan, Downtown Manhattan, and Brooklyn. Where in the world is New York City doing? New York City seems to really get destroyed on a constant basis. I don't think New York is catching any sort of break. If they don't change any sort of shoplifting law, if they don't make shoplifting a big consequence, everyone's going to keep doing it. More and more of these Walgreens are closing down. Grocery stores are closing down. CVSs. I mean, the Rite Aids have all left New York City, and it's frankly very sad. And look at this. Mayor Eric Adams' response is to just start handing out prepaid debit cards to migrants. And the program will be costing taxpayers $53 million. Some of the migrant families would get up to $20,000, almost to that region, per year. New York City expected to shell out around $10 billion through the summer of 2025 and housing migrants in New York City hotels. This is getting hyper expensive, guys. Everyone's saying the same thing. You spend 10 billion on the migrant crisis, but guess how much they spend on combating shoplifting? Just a measly $45 million. 45 million versus $10 billion. That is a drastic difference right there. And people are saying numerous times, seriously, New York, get yourself together, make shoplifting a big crime. Squatters should also be put in jail. That's what a lot of other people have been saying. But New York City just said, listen, 
already there's entire malls grocery stores walgreens cvs's local mom and pop stores all closing down this should be a huge wake-up call for new york city but they're simply just not caring so thanks so much guys comment below how do you guys feel about this it's pretty sad when the best cities in the world basically going down the gutter see you guys later